Salutations, my Fallout lovers. It is Maddie here, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to acquire and create one of Fallout 4's most overpowered guns, if not the most overpowered. Now, I know we'll make our arguments on how our builds are good with certain weapons and certain legendary weapons you may find throughout the wasteland may be better, especially after upgrading them, but this is a weapon that's accessible to everyone that you can buy in Vault 81 that I'm going to be showing you how to make one of the best guns in the game. I've been using it since I acquired it. It's my go-to weapon when I need to fight something tough. It does an unreal amount of damage and that weapon is the Overseer's Guardian. So the way you acquire this is heading to Vault 81 on this portion of the map. And once you head there, you're not allowed in right away like the other vaults because this vault is inhabited. They say you can enter if you bring them three fusion cells. Now, if you've been naturally exploring the wasteland and you've made your way to Vault 81 naturally, then chances are you have three fusion cells to spare for them to let them let you in. You can also persuade them, but I failed to get in. But anyway, chances are you already have enough on you, so they'll let you in. And once you're inside, you'll be introduced to everyone. And then Austin will want to let you see the vault and just let them take you around this really isn't a necessity but it lets you get accommodated because it's a little overwhelming at first but get used to all the sights and sounds of vault 81 and then head upstairs into the shop that Alexis Combs runs and she'll be the one who sells the overseers guardian now trade whatever the hell you can to get this weapon because it is so good and it doesn't even have like a crazy description on how good it is because as you can see when I first bought this at a lower level 66 damage just shoots an additional project Tile, which I'm not sure what it is, but whatever it is kicks ass. But anyway, what you want to do is start upgrading this weapon because this is what I had when I didn't have Rifleman perk invested in at all, and all I did was really upgrade my weapons. Once you get to the workbench and start upgrading this bad boy, make it shoot 308 bullets because then it has a fast rate of fire, so it's essentially a semi automatic hunting rifle for example where you can just keep going boom 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 and shoot it as fast as you would like which makes it so absolutely deadly like i said it's my go-to weapon now if you couple that upgrading it with the rifleman perk it makes it oh my goodness it is absolutely insanely destructive even at level 61 in the survival mode gameplay you're looking at right now i am tearing through enemies with this weapon and it is just absolutely amazing i recommend it to any build even if you don't have the rifleman perk and you just invest in the gun nut this is still a great go-to weapon and the reason i'm recommending it so much and claiming it's one of fallout 4's more op weapons is because of the fact that it's mainly became powerful because of the way you build it out rather than how your character is built now don't get me wrong once you get the rifleman perk this gun is borderline unfair but if you just decide to build it out and just use your gun nut perk it'll be just as powerful for your character as time goes on it really was never too weak for any type of enemy whatsoever so i highly recommend you go to vault 81 pick this weapon up upgrade it and start investing in your rifleman perk because it can be awesome i hope you guys enjoyed this little video let me know what you think on the overseer's guardian in the comments down below i know a lot of you guys have been saying that you think it's one of the most powerful weapons in the game and i concur other than that be sure to follow me on twitter like me on facebook links are down below stay sexy stay active i love you all peace